you. The Irish Council for Civil Liberties has described this act as, quote, the single biggest denial of fair trial rights in our legal system. They're completely correct, and that's why people before profit will be opposing this as we have consistently done. I'd urge other parties to join us in opposing this, particularly the Greens and Sinn Féin, who previously did also oppose the extension. The UN Human Rights Committee, Amnesty International, even former President Mary Robinson have all spoken out about these extraordinary powers. They allow people to be locked up without the right to a trial by jury and without any actual evidence presented against them just on the opinion of a Garda. We have seen again and again major scandals, corruption and abuses of power in the Gardaí. Just remember how they lied about Morris McCabe. As I mentioned in the past, both the Green Party and Sinn Féin TDs spoke out and opposed it. Last year, the Greens, then in, then now in government, do a U-turn and back it, while Sinn Féin, after being pinned on it in the general election, said, well, there's a review go on, going on, but they got stuck on the fence and they abstained. Scandalously, again, they're going to repeat that this year. I have to say it is disappointing and it's frankly cowardly under the pressure of a little bit of criticism from the establishment political parties to not do the right thing and vote against juryless trial, to not vote against this massive abuse of civil liberties which Sinn Féin has traditionally voted against every single year until the pressure of last year. In government, is Sinn Féin going to allow the continuation of this abuse of human rights? The Minister for Justice recently talked about the need to use this juryless court against so-called subversives. Who are these subversives that she's talking about? We saw during the water charges revolt how the Guardi admitted to tapping the, tapping the phones of campaign organisers. Were campaigners opposing austerity taxes considered to be subversives? We've seen how the anti-COVID laws were used in the last year to threaten Debenhams workers and to ban taxi drivers' protests. Are workers fighting for their rights to be considered subversives? It's a warning to us all. If you give this state extraordinary powers, they will continue them and they will use them against the will of the many. The central justification for the undemocratic an anti-civil liberties special criminal court is the issue of jury intimidation. That justification does not stand. There is no proof that has been offered that this is a significant problem in our criminal justice system. And secondly, if it was, there are abundant alternative approaches which do not subvert the fundamentals of democracy and equality before the law. The ICCL offered just a few examples. Anonymous juries, screening juries from public view, special protection for juries during trials, and video links for juries at different locations. These are not new ideas in Irish law. The uncommenced and now repealed Juries Act of 1929 had some of these protections. On top of that, witnesses still have to give evidence during trials in the Special Criminal Court and are therefore a possible target of intimidation. The Special Criminal Court was never needed, it is not needed now, and will not be needed in the future. We cannot claim ignorance on the undemocratic and authoritarian nature of this legislation and cannot pretend that alternatives to it don't exist.